Welcome back to the channel guys. Today this is a short video, it's like something slightly different. So if you go back on the channel, you'll see about a year ago, I posted a video on an off-grid waterless toilet system, which didn't work out very well. Um, unfortunately it was a was a semi paid promotional item if you want to call it that I got it at a discount on the condition that I did a video about it but it has not worked out as per plan it actually was quite gross so today well this trip down to our little cabin we uh, I installed a flush toilet, took that toilet out, installed a flush toilet. So I'm just going to take a little tour of our off-grid cabin. There's my wife. She doesn't look too bad for two weeks off-grid <laughs> living. So before we came down, I had someone come and dig a hole for me. So we've put a thousand litre tank in there. Uh, basically a conservancy tank for the toilet to flush into that over there is the old waterless toilet that you were meant to do your thing in there and then sort of flush it with a handle that makes it run around a disc and dry out and then eventually move into the middle but too much use on it doesn't dry out fast enough and it becomes a stink hole so we've I've installed a, a water tank here's a 2000 litre water tank with the uh, gutters running on both sides of the little cabin. And then this is just a, a screened off toilet shower area that uh, makes for fun, fun uh, <laughs> showering. It's like a real camping setup. So we've got our flush toilet. It's, it's not too, it's not plumbed in yet so I basically just use a bucket into the cistern or I run the hose pipe from our gas shower I'll come back just now and show you how that works so we've got the tank outside runs through the house inside the house we've got a 12 volt water pump that pumps water up into the gas geyser gas on and we have hot showers and obviously water available to flush the toilet. The cabin is small. It's a six by three. And my wife has really made it beautiful. So we've got our bed in the one corner, basically a little lounge area, and then wash up area, cooking area, Oh, and we installed a solar system when I came down. So we've got solar panels coming in. They run down into the controller. From the controller down into a battery. And I've got a small inverter just to charge up equipment, uh, electrical equipment and computers and stuff like that. And from the battery, I have a secondary battery underneath here which comes out of my vehicle but I only use it for the lights um, and then I use a charger I charge it from the other battery when we have full sun and we get in we get in 14 volts off the panels okay there's a the little pump it's a 12 volt pump pressure pump Water comes in on that side, runs up. Right, the water pump gets switched on over here. And then that gives us running water on the inside. Only cold water though, because uh, we haven't connected it through the geyser. But then outside, when it comes time for showering, you have the geyser here. Just 
switch it on and use the hose pipe to shower and it gets hot enough gets around 41 42 degrees celsius which is more than hot enough to shower in our weather conditions Let's see. Sitting on 40, 40 is more than warm enough. And that's that. Eventually this will get closed off. We'll put uh, Wendy planks on here and make it more, because as you can see, it's, you can see out quite well. But if you're standing outside, you can't really see in. So no one can see my naked butt when I'm showering from out from outside. But there you have it. Simple, but workable. It is two weeks now that we've been off grid. Uh, we haven't uh, experienced load shedding. And yeah, got a little fireplace over there for when we make braai. And slowly we will add to it. Over there in the distance we'll put the house up. That'll happen hopefully next year. And uh, then this will become a... We'll move this down, probably in that area there. Become an office. And uh, yeah, nothing's permanent here. Everything's been put in for a temporary measure. So yeah. Living off-grid. It's not that difficult. And uh, we did it on quite a tight budget. And it works. So yeah, thanks for watching. There's no fishing in this video. Fish weren't biting this morning. But if you like the content, don't forget. Like, subscribe, share it. And uh, hopefully we'll be back on the river or in the ocean later this week. Getting some more fish. Some more footage on fish. This guy next door has also built himself something. Cute little house. I think that one is about seven by three. Um, yeah, our next thing we need to do is fence. We're just trying to keep people out of our property because the people have been walking through here, randomly taking stuff. But anyway, great. Thanks guys. On the next one. Cheers.